Hello guys, happy holidays or almost holidays. It is Drew here from Lone Fox and today I have a incredible video. Like I am so excited for this one. I feel like every video I've been saying I've been so excited for them, but I truly am really, really excited for you to see this video guys because the 10 ornaments that I'm creating in this video, I created all so inexpensively and they look impeccable like throughout the month of december i'm posting so many more videos including like more holiday projects room transformations just all that fun stuff decorating videos things like that so if you want to stay tuned definitely subscribe to my channel and also follow the lone fox home instagram account i'll put it on the screen for you right now for your daily dose of home inspiration and style it's really really excited for you guys to see these ornaments because they look amazing i'm super excited and i'm gonna make more of all of these so i can put them on my tree this year because i really love the way that each and every ornament turned out and they can totally all be used on one tree because the color story between all of them it's pretty minimal, pretty aesthetic, and I love it. So definitely stay tuned and let's just get started. Let's jump right in with one of my favorite ornaments. And I used a hot glue gun, this little mini plastic mason jar ornament, um, some snow text, glitter, these mini trees, and a paintbrush. So I actually found this just at the Michaels Craft Store. It was $2 on sale. And I used a little bit of the snow text, but if you do not have this, just white paint would work perfectly. I'm just trying to create a little bit more of like a snowy feature on the inside of the jar. You could totally add this to the outside as well, but I just thought that it would be a lot cleaner and nicer and not chip at all if it was just on the interior. So I did it on the bottom and I also did it around the top rim as well just sort of to kind of create a frame around the interior. So next what I did was glue down a couple of these little pipe cleaner trees and I found these on Amazon. I'll leave a link below to the exact ones I used. So inexpensive and they really add a nice effect. And then I poured a ton of glitter from Target in the jar just to fill it up. Not all the way of course, just to fill up the bottom and kind of cover the tree bases. And then you have a super cute little shakeable snow globe ornament. This ornament is definitely the one that is most inexpensive and I use some string, jingle bells, two different sizes of popsicle sticks, a hot glue gun, and paint. And so what I started off by doing was just gluing together three of the smaller popsicle sticks together and this is going to kind of create the sitting area on the sled. And I just glued them together in the fashion that I'm showing on the screen here. And then what I did was I cut three different lengths of popsicle sticks, so or three pieces at the same length of the first panel that we created, which I know sounds hard, but if you see what I'm doing on the screen then it's uh, kind of easy but then I decided to go in and paint two of the actual little seat sections so I painted one of them red and then I painted one of them white but you can really paint them whatever you want or go in and add gold or even that snow text to it to give it like a little bit of a fake snow look and then I grabbed a couple of the longer popsicle sticks and created the actual legs for the sled or the little like I guess part that would be touching the snow and then I glued on the part that we cut prior and then just added a little string to it and you can also decorate these if you want you can tie bows add jingle bells really do whatever you want to them add fake snow a little spritz of gold or whatever it may be but that finishes up your little sled ornament This snowball ornament has so much texture and all I used was some yarn and scissors, so super easy. And what you're gonna do is find something that's about four or five inches in length. So I use this gift card here and I wrapped it probably like a hundred or 200 times. The more times you wrap your yarn around it, the thicker your snowball is going to be. And then you're just going to find the center point of all that wrapping that you did and tie a really tight knot around it with the yarn and then cut all of those excess edges, which is going to essentially create your pom-pom. And when you do this, you might want to just trim off some of those extra like overhanging edges, create a little loop, and that's your finished snowball ornament. Next one is definitely a classic and I used a pine cone, some string, hot glue gun, snow text, and some glitter. And what I started off by doing was just taking some of the snow text and a paintbrush and just brushing it all over the edges of the pine cone. And again, the snow text is just kind of like a very thick white paint with like some coarse texture in it. And then before the paint would dry, I would just sprinkle on a little bit of glitter. I found this glitter at Michael's in the crafting section or I guess in like the scrapbook section because the whole store is a craft store. So I don't know what I was saying there. And I just went around the whole entire edge and I did double it up. After after it dried, I went and added a little bit more on some of the tips and just made it a little bit more chunkier to give sort of that snowy effect. And I glued a string onto the top of it to hang from the tree and that's your finished pine cone ornament.
This ornament is just such a fun one, and I use some battery-operated tea lights, some string, cardstock, paint, paintbrush, and these little, like, really soft puff balls I found at Michael's. And what I'm doing first is just painting a thin layer of red paint onto some cardstock, and this is that battery-operated tea light I was telling you about. Um, so what I'm doing is using the tea light as the nose, and then I'm using just some black paint as the eyes and the mouth. So you're just going to dot it on there just to give it sort of that coal mouth and coal eyes. And then once that's all done, I cut out a square shape from the red cardstock or the painted cardstock, I guess you can say, and I created a hat just by cutting two little slits on the side and creating a hat shape and then gluing it to the top of the ornament. And that's why I was saying if you had red cardstock already, you could just um, cut it out. And then these two little puff balls are going to act as the snowman body. So I found these at the Michael's Craft Store. I glued them together, added a little piece of baker's twine to the top to act as the hanging mechanism for the ornament. And then all you have to do is flip the switch on and the nose glows on the snowman. This is definitely in my top three favorite of the video, and I used some cork board, some puffy paint, scissors, string, and a pen to create this gingerbread ornament. And this cork board I just found at Michael's, super inexpensive. It's actually just meant to create like bulletin boards, and I used it because it kind of looked like a gingerbread cookie almost. And what I did was just use a pair of scissors. It's kind of awkward to cut, but when it's all cut out, you're totally fine. Um, I cut out a mitten shape, and think about all the possibilities you can do with this. Just any sort of gingerbread shape. You could do a gingerbread man, a gingerbread house, a star a mitten, whatever you want to do. And then I instantly started off by gluing a piece of yarn to the back just to act as the little holder for the ornament. And then I went in with my puffy paint and just embellished the entire uh, mitten. And I just used it all the way around the edge. Sorry about that random focusing there. And I went all the way around the edge sort of as frosting. And that is exactly what the puffy paint is acting as, is frosting. So I did a snowflake in the center and then just random swirls and dots around the edges to finish off the ornament. Just allow it to dry for a couple of hours before hanging it on your tree and you are good to go. This ornament here is probably the most traditional one in that I'm using glass ornaments, some Mod Podge, some little tiny seed beads, glitter, and a paintbrush. So this was filmed so poorly, guys, but basically what I did was I added a ton of Mod Podge to the bottom of the little a glass ornament and then I poured on top of it some of the little beads that I had and the beads just kind of act as a chunky glitter almost and then I finished it off with some gold glitter, let it dry and that finished this ornament. I know that was awful but yeah. <laughs> I really wanted to create a customizable ornament, so that's this one, and I used some wood slices, some white paint, string, and a paintbrush, and all I did for this ornament was take the wood slices, which I found at the craft store, and use a bit of white paint just to add on my initials, and I tried to do it in a nice little fashion that looked pretty and decorative, something that you would see at like anthropology or something, but I don't know if I exactly succeeded, and once I added in my actual initials, I went around the edge with just a little sort of like top stitch just around the edge, um, just to give it kind of that handmade quality and then I also wanted to add something else to this ornament so I added a couple of just snowflakes just organically placed around the edges and that finishes off the super simple ornament I just added some yarn on the back for hanging and I also created another one with a Christmas tree and some twine So this ornament might be the hardest one, but it's honestly not too hard. And all I used was some felt sheets from the craft store, some paint, some needles, and then some embroidery floss and a pen. So what I started off by doing was just folding my base, which is going to be the fox's head. And I did a fox because of Lone Fox, of course. Um, I folded it in half and just created one half of the shape of a fox's head. And when you open it, you're going to have the full fox's head, which I then cut out on another piece. So we have a front side and a back side to the ornament. And then once the front side and the back side are cut out of the fox head in this brown rust color, I traced out an eyeball shape. Um, this is kind of like an eye slash nose configuration shape, I guess you could say, which are kind of like oblong teardrops, which are gonna go on the right and left side of the ornament. And then what I did was just added a tiny bit of hot glue just to put them in place before I started stitching because I didn't want them to come out of place. And then I used a needle and thread to stitch around the eyeball sections to the front side of the ornament. And I just did this very randomly, just like, uh, 
spaced out the stitches a little bit and there was no rhyme or reason to it. It's just organic and pretty. And then what I did was use the brown embroidery floss to go around the entire edge of the actual fox ornament. And you can go around the actual edge and do like a whip stitch, but I just did like a simple stitch all the way around the outside and made sure it was visible and kind of chunky to give that very handmade and handcrafted vibe to it because I think that looks pretty for felt ornaments. And then once I got to the end, I left about a one inch hole opening to add in a little bit of cotton fluff that I found. It's just cotton balls torn up. Up, and then I finished stitching off the end of the fox ornament just to close it all up and once you get to the end just tie off your thread and use a little bit of black paint to paint in two eyeballs and I used a jingle bell for the nose and added a string to the back and that's the finished ornament. And last but not least, a super cute and super inexpensive ornament using clothespins, some string, and hot glue. So what I did was just break the clothespins apart, essentially by just pulling the metal portion out of the center, the little mechanism, and gluing the flat sides together of the clothespins as shown here. And you're going to want to do eight of these, which is going to take or it's going to create your entire snowflake. So what you're going to next do is just glue together the snowflakes into sort of an X shape as shown here. And then in the center of the X shape, glue another peg in between each of them, which is going to sort of finish off that snowflake shape. And this could be a star or a snowflake. I think it much more looks like a snowflake to me. Um, you could paint it white and add some glitter for that full snowflake effect, but I just left it raw wood to kind of give my tree a rustic touch and then added a little bit of string to hang the ornament. And that finishes off the last one. So guys, those are the ornaments. I hope you really loved them. I loved them so much and they were so inexpensive to make. I can't believe they turned out as good as they did. Um, I kind of had the ideas for a lot of them and I found um, some inspiration for some of them on Pinterest as well, but I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to execute them as well as I wanted to. And they just turned out really, really incredible. So I do hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content, new videos, new DIY projects, new transformations every single week on this channel. And yeah, I think that's about all. Um, I'll catch you in the next one and have a great holiday season. Bye guys.